Have you ever wanted to add or find bends with an imported sheet metal part? If yes, then this quick tip is for you. The first thing I'll do is measure the existing part thickness. Clicking any one of these small edges will provide that info. Looks like it's one and a half millimeters thick. The next thing is to create a flange, but I can't do that until I turn on the design history, a typical step for imported models. This can be done quickly by right clicking the design name and selecting capture design history. Now, to add that flange, we'll jump into the sheet metal tab. And the first thing we'll do is make sure we have a sheet metal rule that corresponds to the one and a half millimeter thickness of this part. We do, but if you don't, add a new rule here. We'll make a quick sketch on the end face, project an existing edge, then use that for the flange we set out to make. Remembering to use that sheet metal rule that matches the existing part thickness. From there, we'll combine this super duper simple sheet metal part we just made to the existing body. Doing this, the magic happens where we'll now be able to create that flat pattern. This will only work assuming the body you're combining to follows sheet metal rules. Luckily, other design tools follow the same governing restraints, helping ensure success most of the time. To get back to the original shape, you can quickly cut away the flange we made with an extrude up to an existing vertex. Big thanks to Wayne Griffenberg for sharing this. Hope that helps.